Hello everyone, Wandering Gypsy Deb here. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to give you an updated van tour. How exciting. You get to see inside Scarlet Ovana, the recent changes that I made. So let's get started. If you would, before we start, if you find this video informative, uh, amusing, you like it in any way, give it a thumbs up. I really would appreciate it. And if you haven't done so yet, please subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out a lot. So let's get going. All right, so we're going to start in the back here, underneath my back window cover. I have my Bouge RV, and it's a 30-quart compressor refrigerator. It can also be a freezer, but it can't be both. And I've got plenty of room inside for whatever food items I want to bring. And let's take a peek under here. I have a shelf. I have a wire shelf starting at the bottom. I have my Covia mini stove, which I used in my last video making a camping dish. I really like it so far. I have a collapsible sink and a collapsible tea kettle. On the next shelf, I've got a box of trash bags, and I have a bin, which has all of my kitchen utensils in it. Let's look inside. Got a pot holder, some silverware, various cooking utensils in there, scissors, tongs, spatula. I have some salt and pepper, a cutting board, some foil, and I also have some spices inside a pill container. Let me turn that around and show you. Each little section has something in it. I also have a windscreen in here that I use to put around my stove when it's breezy. Okay, and then on the side of the shelf, I have a roll of paper towels hanging with a bungee cord. And I have some rope bins. This one has a Coleman lantern and some various things in here for my photography. In this rope bin, I have butane fuel, a tablecloth, some window cleaner, a fire extinguisher, which I'll be taking out to use when I cook, some bug spray, cooking spray, some vinegar and water solution for washing dishes, and my Lunatec misting bottle, which I use to rinse dishes. And that's all we have in the back. Let's go around to the side. All right. So here 
I have my Stansport camping toilet. I'll show you that in case you haven't seen it. And I put bags in here, which I'll show you that. Hold on. Okay, so we take some bags. How I do this. Put one in. Second one in for insurance. And I take some pine pellets, and pour those in there. And that keeps everything fresh. So on the floor I have some throw rugs which I can take out to shake out and wash, keep my floor clean. And over here I have my Coleman Comfort Smart Cot, I think it's called, with a four inch Millard trifold mattress. Pretty comfortable. And here is a trunk organizer, which I have all my clothes. It's going to be cold tonight, so I got some plenty of hand warmers to keep warm. I have some extra water. Uh, my camera bag. And back behind my refrigerator, I have a 500 watt Jackery. And under here, I have a second 500 watt Jackery underneath the bed. Okay, I keep my window coverings under my pillows here. They're WeatherTech window coverings. They keep the heat out and the cold. Over on this side, I have a slim cart, which I have some toiletries in here. My hat to keep me warm. A touch light that I use at night. A thermometer so I can see how cold I'm going to be. Okay, and in the back here I have a bag with my dirty clothes. And there's the refrigerator back in there. Here's a view, a closer view of my shelves. It's my USB rechargeable fan and my horse bedding pine pellets for my toilet. There's the booties that keep my feet warm when it's cold. My toiletries case, hairbrush, and some USB rechargeable lights. And closer look over here. I have a power bank, which I use to charge my phone at night. A little hat to keep my head warm. And this is where I hang my eyeglasses at night when I'm sleeping on this bungee cord. I've got these cute fairy lights from World Market. Let me turn those on.
And here they are, turned on. And I keep the trash bag here. Some Lysol wipes. And then here I have my curtain, which hangs up to divide the front and the back. It actually keeps the light out. Nice for privacy. And let me show you how that hangs up. Okay, so I have some pipe strapping. I don't know if you can really see it. It's metal, and I have it covered with some seam binding. And it goes around the whole headliner there, held up with cubicle clips. And then my curtain is a black tablecloth that I sewed a tapestry on top of. And then in the top, I have some rare earth magnets, which are really strong. And they will stick up here, like that. As you can see. You get the idea. I don't think I have this centered, but you can see goes up pretty easy. It sticks really good. And that gives me privacy. In the summer months, I use these magnetic curtains. Which I'll show you how they stick. Okay, it's really windy here where I land, where I'm at right now. But the curtains anyway, they stick to the metal around the edge of the window. And I have a pair for the front and a pair for these windows as well. And on the inside of these slider doors, I actually have screens, which you can see here, and they're held in with these miniature binder clips, and I clipped it to the rubber that goes around the window. So I have that for ventilation when it's warm, but not warm right now, so we're going to put the WeatherTech ones up to keep the cold out. Okay, so not much up front, just an umbrella, some tissues, some sanitizer, a uh, brush to brush off my boots, my WeatherTech floor liners, uh, a Garmin, because I'm always going where I don't have any service to use Google Maps. All right, let's go around to the other side and see what's over there. Okay, and also I have a fold-up table here that I use when I'm boondocking where there isn't a picnic table. I've got my camping chair here that I keep behind the seat belt so it doesn't go anywhere. Under the bed on this side are some crates with food. And this is my windshield cover, my camera tripod, and a couple of little, little fold-up stools here. Can't really see them too well. And here are the other set of magnetic curtains for my windows. Okay, and then up front, I've got a jacket and a coat hanging here on the seat. Some extra paper products. 
And down here I have some more water. I think that that is it for the van tour. Hope that you enjoyed taking a peek at Scarlet Ovana. I almost forgot to give you the update on the Coleman Comfort Smart Cot. I uh, took the little cushion off that came with it and I have my Millard Trifold 4 inch foam mattress on top. It is pretty comfortable. Um, but I got to say, it does sag just a bit. So if you have anything underneath the bed that's tall, you're going to feel what's under there. I don't know. It's okay for now, but we'll see. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you guys. If you haven't done so yet, hit the thumbs up button. And subscribe to the channel it really helps me out a lot and hope you enjoyed the tour and I'll see you in the next video